Hi. Now in this example, we've got to prove that cos 3x plus cos 5x plus cos 7x is identical to cos 5x all multiplied by 2 cos 2x plus 1. So to do this, we'll just put down proof. Now I'll take the left hand side purely because we've got three terms here and what we're trying to do is reduce it down to one term. So that should be easier to do it that way. So we'll start with cos 3x then plus cos 5x plus cos of 7x. Now in order to do this what we've got to do is use the factor formula to create that one term. And that means we need to combine our cosines together. By the factor formula, you should know that the cosine of one angle plus the cosine of another angle, let's call it A and B, is identical to 2 cos of the sum of the two angles divided by 2 times the cos of the difference between the two angles divided by 2. So this is something that you should basically already know called the factor formula. There's a series of other ones in this so do check those out. You'll find them on my website. Okay, now there's a bit of a trick here though. Which ones do you group up? Well you get some clues from just looking at the answer here. What we're going to have to do is add two of the angles together and divide by two. And similarly subtract two angles and divide by 2. Now if I was to do say 3x and 5x that would give me 8x divide by 2 is 4x so I'm going to have a 4x somewhere in my answer. There is no 4x here so that doesn't seem to suggest it's grouping those two together. If I was to group together these two the 5x and the 7x Using this I'd have the sum of the two angles divided by 2. So 5x and 7x would be 12x divided by 2 would be 6x. There is no 6x in here. So it doesn't look as if it's these two. What about these two on the outsides? 3x and the 7x. Add those two together and we end up with 10x divided by 2 is 5x. That's looking quite good because we've got a 5x there. We've also got this 2x, so where does that come from? Well, what about if we took the two angles away from one another? 7x take away 3x is 4x, divided by 2 is 2x. So that's looking quite encouraging. Only, I would start then by putting this one, the larger cosine first, cos 7x, and then writing the cos 3x and then that term cos 5x. So if I group together these two by using the formula up here then this is going to be the same as the two cos of the sum of the two angles 7x plus 3x but divided by 2 times the difference, the cosine of the difference between them 7x minus 3x divided by 2. Then I've got the last term here, plus cos 5x. Tidying this first term up, we've got 2 cos. Now, 7x plus 3x, as I said earlier, was 10x. Divided by 2 is 5x. For this factor here, we've got the cos of the difference between 7x and 3x, which is 4x. Divided by 2 is 2x. And then we've got this last term, plus cos 5x. Now, across these two terms, what I notice is that I've got a common factor of cos 5x. So pull that common factor out, have a bracket, and for this first term, I'm going to need the 2 and the cos 2x. And for the last term, because I've got cos 5x out the front as a factor, I must have plus 1 inside. And that's what we had to show. All right?